Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a massive elf haul. Is this crooked? So I'm going to be doing a massive elf haul which basically just means I'm going to throw in a bunch of products that I've been testing out for a really long time and put them into one video for you guys so that you can see um, how I've been liking the products and things like that um, and all that jazz. But before I get into the video, I'm going to link for you guys in the eye here, here, it's somewhere up above these lip colors for my e.l.f. matte lip color video review that I already did because I love these guys so, so much. So click on the eye wherever it is and it will also be linked down below in the description box for you mobile viewers or anybody that just wants to go down there and look because I will also have um, other videos that I mentioned throughout the video down there that might not be up in the eye. Um, so just so you guys know, today I'm going to be reviewing six e.l.f. products and I am going to mention one, but it's not going to get reviewed because it will get its own video. Um, so, the first product I would like to start with, the first product I want to start with is the Volume Plumping Mascara. This guy right here, this guy right here looks like this and it's from the... What was that? Professional line. This one does retail for $3 and I do have this on the lashes today. So I'll kind of try and show you if you can see, but I don't know if you can see that very well. Basically, this is a really nice mascara for $3. Um, very affordable. I really love that it's a very nice, large brush. For some reason, I really like these brushes. Um, this is a really great formula. It's not too wet and it's not too dry, which is what I really like, and it does provide a lot of volume, which is even better as well. So I ref I really do recommend this product. Um, this one is in the shade black, and they only have it in black, and it is very black. Like, it's not gray black or doesn't dry to a gray black. I mean, it is a very black mascara. So I really do love the e.l.f. volume plumping mascara that they have. Mascara I want to let you guys know about is the e.l.f. Um, Lash Tint Mascara, and this one is from their, like, bare skin kind of collection. I don't remember what they call this, this line with the silver packaging, but it's more natural makeup um, that's in the silver packaging here. This one's in the shade Naked Noir, and basically, this is very cool. I have been looking for this product for a really, for a while now, actually. And I'm so happy to have found it. I actually found mine at Walmart. Or not at Walmart, I'm sorry, at Target. And this is the tiniest little mascara brush I have seen ever at the drugstore, at least. Um, this is definitely a possible dupe for the It Tightline Mascara. If you guys know what I'm talking about, I will link that down below for you guys. Whoa. Um, for you guys. This is a really nice formula as well. It does really great at separating. It really does lengthen my lashes, which is awesome, as well as like get that tight line just to make sure that there are no like spaces of that's not covered um, when you do your tight line mascara or your tight line eyeliner. This is a really, really great product. I really love it. Um, this does retail for $4 on the e.l.f. website, but it's completely worth it because the It Cosmetic one is in the $20 range, um, and I just love it so much. It's got the finest brush. I love using it for the lower lashes, and I did use it on the lower lashes today. I'll just take my glasses off for you guys to see. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I also did like tint my upper lashes with this before I did my other mascara, the volumizing one. Um, if you guys were curious if I used that up there, I did. The next product I want to talk to you guys about is the um, Instant Lift Brow Pencil. And this one I have is in taupe. This is from their like very first original line, the white packaging. And this only retails for $2. This is a really good product. My shade I have is in taupe and I am using it today. And I actually love the way that it looks with my hair color. I absolutely love the way it applies. I love that it, there is a spoolie on here as well because I can't, I love spoolies. Spoolies are my fave. And then also it's a twist up so you don't have to worry about like sharpening or anything like that. 
Um, and you get quite a lot of product. I've used it quite a lot, so I only have this much left. Um, because I hauled this a while ago, I believe. But, oh my god, this is the best. This lasts for probably anywhere from six to seven hours, I would say. And then it would starts to, like, fade a little bit, um, in my eyes. But it's not, like, a horrible fade where it's just completely gone and your eyebrows are naked. It's just not as dark as it was. But that takes about six to seven hours, like I did say. So, it lasts me a whole work day since I only work five. But if you were going to work eight hours, you might be pushing it. But I think it would, I think it would last you because it just fades the color. Um, it doesn't like, if you have a bald spot, you're not going to notice that it's gone. Like the color just gets lighter is what I'm trying to say. So this product here that I have is the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation and I got it in the shade Sand. I actually picked this up at Walgreens a while ago, probably in December, for $1.50 and I could not say no because it was on clearance. So this is not my shade. However, I'm going to be doing a separate review video, but I have to wait till the weekend because this is very, very noticeable. And I don't want to look like a crazy person when I go to work. So I am going to wait to do a review on this. Just so you guys know for the price point, it is $6. I'm going to wait and do a separate review on this, um, getting more in depth about the product, the packaging, and all that jazz, um, and wear and tear and all that jazz. So I will post that video soon but I don't know when. This product is also from their natural face line I suppose and it's something that I had been wanting to try for a very long time because people said it was very comparable to the Dior like lip changing lip gloss, lip color changing gloss or whatever. It changed to everybody's like color which I thought was really interesting. So when e.l.f. came out with one I was very excited to try it because this one's a lot more affordable than the Dior one because I believe the Dior is in the $20, $30 range for that product. Um, but this one is called the e.l.f. Gotta Glow Lip Tint and this one's in perfect pink. I actually noticed the other day, I was like, probably about a week ago I was looking and there's actually different colors of these. There's like a purple one and a nude one which was interesting to me. But I think this is so pretty and I wish this was like an actual lip color. But it's not. It's just like a little lip balm which is great just for like when you're working on putting on your makeup and you just want to like, you know, have a hydration, on, have some hydration on your lips. And basically when you swatch it, it all looks different um, whether it's on the back of your hand or on your lips or like on your butt. It will possibly look different. It works with your pH balance but it is very nice and glossy and that's what it looks like on my skin tone. This is a very hard product to review because it will change on everybody. On somebody else, it might look darker, it might look berry, it might look, you know, baby pink like this in the actual tube. But, however, nonetheless, if you don't care about what color you're going to get, this is a very hydrating lip product. This is so beautiful, and it does actually leave a bit of a stain, which is a really fun, like, factor that like comes into play because a lot of the time when you just get a straight up lip balm it's clear it doesn't stain baby lips doesn't stain I would say this is the consistency of a baby lips product but with a staining effect which is really cool um, this retails for six dollars so it is like a little bit pricier than their other like lip I'm sorry my nose itches than their other lip products that they have but I think it's well worth it just because it's such a fun thing and it is a dupe I've heard others say that it is a dupe for the Dior um, lip gloss that I'm trying to tell you guys about. Going on to the e.l.f. skincare line, um, this one that I'm going to talk about first is the e.l.f. illuminating eye cream and it comes in a cute packaging like this. It is like a clear um, sea foamy minty blue shade. Um, that is like a plastic packaging jar with some silver on it. Very nice spa-like packaging. When you open it up, you have this like lid here to keep the product protected from drying out. And then you open it up and the product is inside. So this one's like shifted, but, um, that's what it looks like. It's just a white cream product. This is the illuminating eye cream that I used. In that video, I did use it up under the eyes as well as around my nostrils here. And it hydrated the shit out of this area here because that is very dry for me. It's very like flaky and scaly and just really gross. It never looks good with foundation no matter what I do. Um, and this is why um, it looked so great that day. I'm not wearing it today because this is my mom's set. I have to get my own. Um, but this does retail for $10. Their skincare 
for some reason is a lot more pricier than anticipated um, but I think that it's kind of well worth it at least these two products that I'm about to tell you about um, but this is a really good eye cream it really did hydrate under the eyes it didn't have any creasing from it and it was very hydrating and um, it just felt nice they don't have any sort of like scent I don't mm. They don't really have a scent. I mean, I would say if anything, there's just like a spa-like scent, but it's very subtle. But it's a really great product. All right. And lastly, this e.l.f. Soothing Serum um, that I got also at Target, um, which is also my mom's. Retails for $12, and it's in this really nice, like, plastic um, cylindrical container with a pump, with a nice silver pump, which is always great. And this retails, again, like I said, for $12. And this is their soothing serum. Basically, I use this as a hydrator the day in that Kat Von D video, whether it's up now or later. Just be subscribed so you get notified. Um, this is super hydrating. It's so good. It has some sort... I want to say there was glycerin in this, but I'm not 100% sure because I felt just like some sort of... My foundation just stuck to my skin really well that day, and this was the only thing I used and the illuminating eye cream, but not, like, this was all over my face. And it had some sort of tacky element to it, which was really interesting to, like, have in such a product. And I just love that about it. And I just felt like it was a primer and a moisturizer all in one. And I also didn't notice my pores as much that day. And my skin was very dewy very just healthy looking and I really love the way that it made my skin look so I would definitely recommend this to you guys all right you guys so that's it for my elf massive haul, or not massive haul but massive review video of their skincare lip products mascaras and what else did we do brow product go and link the straight website for elf as well just so you can just go there directly and just do whatever you want. Um, they do, e.l.f. always offers free shipping over a $35 purchase. And yeah, I mean, pretty self-explanatory. These products I'm all loving. There wasn't one that I like hated at all. And I just want to show you guys that my hand is now stained pink. But anyways, you guys, that is it for the massive elf review if you guys did enjoy this please give it a huge thumbs up share it with all your friends so they can see these really great affordable products and subscribe if you're not subscribed to be notified of the Kat Von D locket foundation review and the elf foundation review that's coming soon and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys